the JAMA Network. My name is Joshua Miller. I am professor and chair of the Department of Nutritional Sciences uh, in the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences at Rutgers University. In recent years, uh, there's been a lot of uh, studies looking at vitamin D deficiency and its relationship to cognitive function and dementia in older adults. Uh, vitamin D deficiency is actually quite common in the general population, uh, particularly in older adults. We decided to look at vitamin D and cognitive function in an elderly cohort, um, and this cohort was at the University of California Davis Alzheimer's Disease Center, uh, which is directed by uh, Dr. Charles DeCarly, and we performed this research in uh, conjunction with the uh, neurologists, neuropsychologists, and pathologists um, at uh, UC Davis. The study was uh, begun in uh, 2002 and ended in 2010. Uh, there were 382 participants at the beginning of the study, and uh, the study consisted of um, 60% uh, African-American or Hispanic, 40% uh, were uh, white, and there were a few other uh, races and ethnicities involved. Uh, the people were about 75 years of age uh, at the beginning of the study, and they were either cognitively intact or they had mild cognitive impairment or some had uh, outright dementia. We looked at vitamin D status uh, at the beginning of the study at baseline, and then we followed their cognitive function uh, over time for an average of five years for the group. None of the subjects were on uh, vitamin D supplements. We were looking at their vitamin D status uh, as it came from their diet and from sunlight exposure. The first thing that we found was that about 60% or more of the participants were low in vitamin D, either insufficient or outright deficient. Uh, deficiency is defined as less than 12 nanograms per mil, and insufficiency is between 12 and 20 nanograms per mil in the blood. African Americans and Hispanics, on average, had lower vitamin D status than the white subjects in the study. Uh, we also found that those who had outright dementia had lower vitamin D status than those with mild cognitive impairment or with normal cognitive function. The main finding of the study was that at baseline, if you had low vitamin D status, whether you were insufficient or outright deficient, your rate of cognitive decline, particularly in two subdomains of cognition, episodic memory, which is a short-term memory test, or executive function, which is much more complicated uh, cognitive functioning, the rate of decline of those two subdomains was significantly faster if you were vitamin D deficient at the beginning than if you were vitamin D adequate. Those two domains were declining at a rate that was about 2.5 times faster for those with low vitamin D than, than those who had adequate vitamin D. It didn't matter uh, what race or ethnicity you were. If you had low vitamin D, your rate of cognitive decline was faster. Even though there were no race or ethnicity differences in the rates of cognitive decline, the uh, percentage of African Americans and Hispanics who have low vitamin D status was higher. So in general, those groups are at higher risk of vitamin D uh, deficiency and therefore at higher risk of faster cognitive decline. This was not a randomized control trial, it was observational, and so we do not know at this time if vitamin D supplements will slow the rate of cognitive decline, particularly in those who have low vitamin D status. The important next step uh, in this research is to perform randomized control trials of vitamin D supplements versus placebo to see if we can slow cognitive decline or prevent uh, incident dementia or Alzheimer's disease in older adults at risk of cognitive decline or dementia.